Welcome to the American Dream and the American Dream Studio. I'm your host, Craig Sewing, and today we're taking you to Seattle for a real show, not a reality show, about the neighborhoods, the lifestyles, and the culture. Dan Keller and our top realtors out there are going to show you what this city has to offer. Let's get the show started right now. The search is over, baby. I'm right here, and I got it. The American Dream, the only show that combats negative media, not owned by a network, commercial-free, unscripted. I got it. These are stories for you and by you. Welcome back to beautiful Bainbridge Island, Washington. When you think about living in the Pacific Northwest, you probably think about mountains and national parks and all of the trails that we have available for us. But right here on Bainbridge, we have our own trail network. So today we're gonna to talk about the open spaces and parks on Bainbridge Island. And if you're interested in owning your own park, we have a fabulous home on seven private acres to show you, so stay tuned. But first, we're gonna take you to the beach, to a forest trail, and to a wonderful playground here on the island. This is American Dream TV, and we are your hosts on Bainbridge Island. The Northwest lifestyle is all about the great outdoors. So whether or not it's a beautiful sunny day on the beach or a gray day with a few <laughs> raindrops, we just put on our jackets and get outside. We're here at Pritchard Park on the south side of Eagle Harbor, right by the Bainbridge Island Ferry Terminal. It's a great place to be in the summertime. It's traditionally the best place to watch fireworks for 4th of July, but even on a gray day with a few sprinkles, it's a perfect place to come for a walk. There's always something to see here from wildlife, kayakers and boaters, and it's an awesome place to bring your dogs to go swimming. As island residents, we're so lucky to enjoy 1,600 acres of public parkland with over 44 miles of trails. You don't have to leave the island to go for a hike. There are trails all around us. And depending on the weather, you may want to be on the beach in the sunshine or under a forest canopy in the rain. In the middle of the island is the Grand Forest, an interlocking network of over 200 acres of trails that link the east side of the island to the west you'll find beautifully maintained trails throughout an evergreen forest. The Bainbridge Island Land Trust has been instrumental in preserving hundreds of acres of land in their natural state for future generations to enjoy. And if you're looking for a park with lots of amenities, Battle Point Park is the park for you. It truly is a park for all ages. Spanning 90 acres of largely open space with two ponds and a jogging trail, Battle Point Park offers something for everyone. There are ball fields, roller hockey, basketball, tennis courts, and our very own Founders Pickleball Courts. This is one of two accessible playgrounds on the island built around a giant ferry boat play structure. All playground areas are accessible, offering universal fun for all users and all abilities. Pickleball is so popular right now, the fastest growing sport in America. And did you know it started right here on Bainbridge Island? We're at the Founders Courts here, and we have six brand new pickleball courts behind us for all ages to enjoy. And if you're new to pickleball, no problem. The rules are posted right behind me, and there's always folks looking for someone to play doubles with. And if a park of your own sounds appealing, have we got a treat for you. This fabulous Tudor home on seven acres of private forest is only two miles from town, but feels worlds away from everything. On two separate parcels with established trails and a wonderful barn, you can get started creating family memories on your own private estate. Such quality construction from the brick and timbered exterior to the gleaming cherry floors and soaring ceilings inside two fireplaces and a welcoming open floor plan for entertaining or just enjoying family time. This home has four bedrooms with a primary on the main floor and an additional three bedroom and bonus space upstairs. 
and check out this barn space. It's a Barn Pros barn, which is so cool. They're currently using it for boat and car storage and a shop, but it could easily be finished upstairs into guest space, which would be so unique. Thanks so much for joining us. We hope you enjoyed a tour of just a few of the parks on Bainbridge Island. And if you're interested in Bainbridge Island real estate, be sure to download our home search app, Bainbridge Island Home Search, available on Apple or Google Play. Thanks so much, and we'll see you next time on the American Dream. Welcome, I'm your host, Joe Perkins, coming to you from my hometown of Maple Valley. And in uh, today's episode, we're gonna take you on a quick little tour of a, a big nonprofit doing things in the community. But first, just gonna grab a quick slice at Cascadia Pizza and then head on up. We're here at Vine Maple Place. We're with Michelle, the executive director, and uh, we're going to kind of find out a little bit about what's going on out here. So, uh, Michelle, thanks for having us out. Uh, I really you, appreciate Joe. your time. Vine Maple is doing so much. Well, you know, we'll share with us what, what do you guys do? Sure. So, we at Vine Maple Place, our mission is to work with single parents and their kids who are homeless, and we work with them to break the generational cycle of homelessness. We do that by providing safety through housing, stability through all kinds of programs for them to build skills and heal. And we have a big kids program as well for kids to get back in school. And um, we have mentoring and tutoring. So it's a holistic, integrated approach to help families. I know you guys have expanded and stuff, but your, your main spot was here in Maple Valley. Like, why Maple Valley? So it actually started in 2000 when the community came together, nine churches, and said there's an issue with single parents and their kids being homeless, and let's do something about that. So we started out here in these, these little um, units. We had the four units, and then we added three more for 14 transitional housing units. And then in 2012, we expanded into this building with a brand new program that I just described. And the community of Maple Valley really really started this and we have expanded into South King County and we have the other footprint in Kent now so uh, these two are community based and they're centrally located for families to get to us. How can as a community or you know where's a spot that we can go to even like what's what how can they we get involved? Great yeah we would love for the community it is about community so we're a community based organization and we exist because of the donations of the community and the volunteer hours. Both are very, very precious to the families here. What's on the horizon? You know, what do you think's next? What's, what's the big you know, future do you see for, for Vine Maple Place? Well, we just, as you mentioned, we a year and a half ago expanded into Kent. So we're located in South King County. And this program that I was talking about has shown success because the families are working hard and it really is their success at leaving homelessness. So we're encouraged to see growth happen and um, per perhaps another facility, another resource center. Mm -hmm. um, we serve Maple Valley, Covington, Kent, Renton, and Auburn. Um, and so putting another facility potentially in one of those areas. We are currently receiving hundreds of calls uh, a month. We're able to help one out of three phone calls and we wanna help everybody who calls. So expanding to be able to help that Every person, every every individual, single parent that's calling that needs help today, mm -hmm. um, we really want to get to that point. And we believe that no child should be sleeping somewhere cold and wet with their family tonight. And so um, that's really our goal for the future. Michelle, just thanks for your time. We greatly appreciate everything that you guys provided for us and you know, look forward to seeing you around. Thanks, Joe. Hope to see you guys all here. Thank you. Hey, what a great day. And just want to say thanks for joining us. Hope you guys learned something great. You know, when you're out in Maple Valley, be sure to swing by Cascadia Pizza and grab a piece of pizza. And then not too far away, drive on down and check out the facilities here at Vine Maple Place. Until next time, look forward to seeing you. Thanks.
everybody. I am Susan Ward, your host of this episode of American Dream TV, Selling Seattle. I'm really excited because today we are 20 minutes south of Seattle, meeting up with the owners of Performance Racing School. We're gonna hear their story and meet their dog, Enzo. So Don, tell me about Performance Racing School. When did it start? When did you open it? And what is your role here? Well, Performance Racing School um, is an advanced high performance and competition driving school based here in Kent, Washington. Uh, it was founded by my wife Donna and I in 1994. Donna is kind of the director of operations. She's the one that keeps this whole ship pointed <laughs> straight. And I'm the chief instructor. In, who handles all of the curriculum and the training of the instructors and that. Nice. So Donna, something that I really wanted to talk about was your involvement in the community. I know you do a lot of fundraising. Can you tell us all about that? Sure. Um, my husband and I formed a guild 25 years ago. We called it Team Seattle. Today it's for the uh, Cardiac Heart Center. Racing is something that we get to experience that we love. And we wanted to give back to the community, so we decided to do a fundraiser for one of our big races. And our concept was really simple. We were just gonna use it as a walkathon and ha collect money um, from people, from corporations, pledging us every lap that we turned on the racetrack, they would donate to the hospital. Very nice. And I think that first year it was $100,000 and we've never looked back. It's local racers, local communities, local businesses uh, giving back to Seattle Children's. Nice. Wow, that's just amazing. How can people watching this episode help you out, help you do fundraising? Uh, well, we have a Team Seattle Guild. Um, it's called Team Seattle. If they go to either the hospital website or our website, they can make a donation online if okay. they so choose. Uh, we're always looking for volunteers and uh, we have all kinds of fundraisers besides just the race. We have a karting race that we do in June. A lot of people want to get more involved than just giving money, so this way they form a team. Nice. And they're able to do some go-karting, raise some money for the hospital, and they get to be race car drivers for the day, and they get to have fun. How much fun is that? Amazing. So Donna, tell me how it is that you guys inspired the book and the movie, The Art of Racing in the Rain. Um, Don mentioned that we started the school in 1994, and the first thing we did is we got a dog, a golden retriever, and his name was actually Otto. Um, he inspired the book and the movie because Otto was our first dog and he was a racer dog. He came out here every day with us. He was known to race the quarter mile in 25 miles per hour. Amazing. He loved to be in the right seat of any race car. He loved watching racing, and we would have all these stories that we would tell people about Otto. And the author, Garth, had heard some of these stories and was inspired by the dog, the racing school, and wanted to write a book. And when he told us he was writing a book, we had no idea that the book was going to be about the race school and about us and about our instructors and about life. And Otto was the one telling the story. It is a beautiful story. And Otto, in the book, um, Garth changed his name to Enzo. And so we're on our third generation of dog, and our third generation dog is named Enzo. So thank you everybody for watching my episode of the American Dream Selling Seattle. I really appreciated it, but right now I have a date with a race car and I've gotta go. Burroughs and I'm your host of American Dream TV and lifelong resident of Lewis County. Today I would love to show you around Centralia and Chehalis also known as the Twin Cities. Both cities are centrally located between Portland and Seattle, the Pacific Ocean and the mountains. Today I want to show you two outstanding women-owned businesses, Sweet Dough Cookie Co and Runway Boutique. For 
here at Sweet Dale Cookie Co. It's early morning and the line's already started. Let's go in. Sweet Dough Cookie Co. today, and we are here with Ashley, the owner. Hi. And we just want to introduce you and have you tell us a little bit about your business. Yeah, so uh, basically how I got started, I was 15 years old. My mom took me to a local bakery in Tacoma. We looked through all their lookbooks, and I knew that that's what I wanted to do. Um, and I went home and practiced, and I grew that skill. And um, I've been baking cakes ever since. <laughs> and about five years ago, um, I started just doing custom orders for cookies. and um, it has grown into this storefront that I get to call my own and it's just been a dream come true. We are only open on Saturdays, 9 a.m. to sell out, and there is a line every single Saturday. When I come and unlock those doors in the morning, there's people here with their chairs, um, so it's just been awesome. Top sellers of cookies are Raspberry Cheesecake, Party Animal, and probably my chocolate chip cookies. Didn't you win some kind of baking contest? I did. So um, I was on the Christmas Cookie Challenge on the Food Network and I won. And then a year later they called me and they asked me to come back for the Grand Champion episode. So I won that as well. Wow, that's <laughs> yeah. amazing. <laughs> yeah, it was awesome. Ashley, thank you for having us in your bakery today. Yes, thank you for coming. Good to see you. Hi, Paula. Good I'm to see you. I'm excited to welcome to and I wanted to have you show me around today. Oh, we're so excited to have you here. Oh, so. I'm always excited to come Yay. in. <laughs> was runway born? Kind of over coffee one day. Really? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> yeah, you know, Shantae and I, we uh, worked together years ago, and then, you know, life kind of separated us, and then she called me up one day, and she took me to coffee, and we talked about the possibility of runway, and yeah. Wow. It was amazing. It was an opportunity that, for both of us to really live out our dreams. I think it was meant to be. I love our community here and I just feel like it's definitely something that we needed and people yes, thrive for it. Mm -hmm. And I feel like also giving everyone an opportunity in our community to be able to come and touch and feel product and just to be able to have an experience that they feel valued. What surprised you about opening the mm. runway? You know, being here in Chehalis, the amount of love and support has absolutely surpassed anything I ever expected. What's up and coming for runway? Well, we've got a lot of fun things that we're planning, a little couple irons in the fire. So I guess, stay tuned. Thank you so much for having me today and I enjoyed the visit to the shop. I'll be in to see you soon, okay? Thank Absolutely. Thank you. Bye, Paula. Bye, Paula. Thanks for coming along with us today while we visited Chehalis in Centralia. We're looking forward to our next episode of American Dream TV. Today we are in one of the most desirable suburbs of Seattle, which was recently named one of the best small cities to move to in America. That's right, we are in my hometown of Sammamish, Washington. We have a fun show planned today. We're going to be talking to a local thriving business of my neighborhood of Klahani. And then later, we're going to check out a previous listing of mine, which is an amazing example of how a few strategic remodels can turn any home into your dream home. Let's get started. What I love most about the Sammamish neighborhood of Klahani is the community feel. We have two pools, trails, excellent schools, and a shopping center that has everything you need. Today, I'm gonna to take you to one of the businesses in this shopping center that's making a big impact, a fitness center called Hustle House. Let's go check it out. I'm so excited.
excited to talk to you today. Thank you so much for having us. Thanks for coming. Let's go chat. Yeah, let's go. Okay, so Leanne, I have been coming to Hustle House ever since you opened, and I am just such a fan of the community that you've built here. It is really unmatched. Can you please just tell me how you got started here? Well, it's been quite a journey. So I've been a trainer for over 20 years. I've always been passionate about uh, fitness and athletics with an athlete all my life. And you know, with the pandemic and all the gyms being closed, um, it really was a game changer. Um, it was even the playing field for all, you know, the fitness industry in Washington State. So I really wanted to take advantage of that and maximize um, the opportunity and open the doors. So here we are. The idea behind it was to really build a community-based gym where all the trainers are nationally certified. They know your name. Um, a lot of the people that come here are friends. What do you think sets you apart from other gyms? Well, A, all of our trainers are elite trainers. They're all former athletes. We even have physical therapists on staff. Um, wow, so, I didn't know that. Yeah, so we kind of moonlight as a sports performance studio as well. So classes for adults by day, and then we kind of turn over into sports performance at night. So a lot of our local teams and organizations hire us to train their teams, and they bring their teams in and we do team trainings, and then we also do individual athletes, um, so sports performance for them, so developing their speed and agility or their overall athletic performance. Um, but we really focus on that in the evenings, and it's really made a big difference in the teams and the youth of our um, immediate area. Well, that's amazing. You're doing an incredible job creating such a community here. Thanks for coming. We love having you around. Now we're going to take a tour of a previous listing of mine, which is a beautiful example of how a home can be remodeled to perfectly fit your needs. This immaculate home is really special to me because it was actually purchased by some great friends of mine. So I know personally the functionality it provides. This immaculate 3,200 square foot home is equipped with five bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, and an oversized three car garage. Now, while they just purchased this home a few years ago, it didn't take long for them to start making it feel like home. One of the most prominent upgrades in this home is that they transformed what was an unusable formal living room into an office. The opening between the living and family room has been closed off. They added French doors and resurfaced the fireplace. This really emphasizes how you can turn what might not be a perfect home into the perfect home for you by making it functional for your needs. When we get to the heart of the home, the kitchen, you'll find a massive quartz island and high-end appliances, which makes it perfect for entertaining. Heading into the den, a built-in desk area is the perfect place for kids to do homework. To relax after a long day, retreat to the fully renovated primary ensuite, which has a bathtub inside the oversized shower enclosure, plus heated floors. The backyard is perfect for an active family, as the artificial turf stays clean and well manicured no matter how wet our Northwest weather may get. I'm so lucky to call Klahani my home. It's the perfect place to raise a family and lead an active lifestyle. Thanks for joining us today. I'm Melissa Waller, and this is American Dream TV Selling Seattle. Welcome to Snohomish, Washington. I'm Kevin Sarbora. And I'm Cami Cosgrove. And we're your hosts of The, the American, American Dream, Dream Selling, Selling Seattle. Seattle. Today we're bringing you down to First Street. This once sleepy town that was best known for its antique shops is now a small business mecca. The only pocket known for a great walking downtown lively nightlife, eclectic restaurants, and amazing shopping. Now we're popping into one of the newest hotspots downtown. Owned by award-winning Food Network pie maker, founder of Pie Bar, author and clinical psychologist Alyssa Kingsbury, and her husband, local musician Hart Kingsbury, welcome to the Pie Dive Bar. Hey, Rocky. Hey. Thanks for having us here today. Thanks for coming to hang with us today. Absolutely. Tell me a little bit about the Pie Dive. Yeah, well, Pie Dive Bar is exactly how it sounds. We've got pie, we've got really good drinks, and an awesome community to come and hang with. Awesome. 
When I think of pie, I think sweet, but you've got savory too, right? Absolutely, we've got both dessert pies and dinner pies. Our famous dessert pie is our humble crumble. It's got apples, strawberries, raspberries, marionberries, and a really good crumble on top. And then we've got our savory dinner pies as well. Our famous one is our shepherd's pot pie. It's got a mound of garlic, parmesan mashed potatoes on top, so good. So we're not just a bakery, you serve booze too. Oh yeah, we serve booze. One of our greatest cocktails we got is the Black Rose. It features our rosemary infused vodka that we make every week in house, our blackberry liqueur, a little bit of simple syrup and lime shaken and served up in a coupe. Classy and goes really well with that shepherd's pot pie. That sounds great. Yeah. Okay, now we're behind the bar with Addison here. Hi. We're gonna make the black rose. You wanna show me how to do this? Absolutely. You can take our house infused rosemary vodka. Okay. Put your account there. Perfect. Uh, skip rock blackberry liqueur. Do a two count there. A little bit of lime. Simple. To round it out there. Okay. And let's strain it. There you go, Rock. Yeah, oh, yeah. Thank you very much. Enjoy. <laughs> Welcome to this stunning 20 acre estate. This home features five bedrooms, five bathrooms, and over 5,000 square feet of living space. From the heated floors to the heated pool, this home has it all. Host a large gathering in this immaculate kitchen with this 22 foot island. Thanks for joining us in Snohomish today. We look forward to seeing you on the next episode of The American Dreams Selling Seattle. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's show as much as I enjoyed hosting it. This is a real show, not a reality show, about real estate, lifestyle, and culture. Hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget, you can follow the story on social media as well, at The American Dream TV. Until next time, cheers to your American dream.